Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so when I um, talked about the determinant of a two by two matrix, I showed you this more general definition of the determinant of any n by n matrix. And uh, what we're gonna do in this video is make sense of this definition because uh, we're gonna use this definition uh, to come up with examples of three by three determinants, uh, four by four determinants. And in fact, if you so choose, you can use this definition uh, to find the determinant of any n by n matrix, even if the matrix is like 100 by 100 or 1,000 by 1,000. Uh, it might take you like a really long time to use this definition as opposed to a computer to do um, the determinant of a matrix that's 1,000 by 1,000, but hey, maybe that's what you're into. Um, anyway, um, uh, let's make sense of this definition as I said. And notice that this definition is adding over columns. So... What it means is that you have to fix a row. It doesn't have to be the first row. It could be the second row, but according to this definition, you have to fix a row. So we would say in this case that we're expanding along columns because we're fixing rows. If you change this J into I, so if you go from I equals one to N instead of J equals one to N, without changing any other thing about this definition, if this J were an I, then you'd be adding over rows and therefore you'd be expanding along columns. Now, uh, when uh, you're doing this in practice, which is when you're calculating a three by three or four by four determinant, you're allowed to expand along any row or any column, which is why I am telling you um, how to change this so that you're expanding along, uh, along rows if you so chose. But here, in this definition, because we have j equals 1 to n instead of i equals 1 to n, we would be adding over columns and therefore we're expanding along columns. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, maybe like for some of you, everything I've said so far like doesn't make too much sense, but um, you'll see in practice exactly what I mean. Uh, but first, because we're working with a generic matrix A, uh, let's fill in you know, the entries of our generic matrix A here. Clearly, the very first entry would be A11 and then A12 next to it uh, on the right side, right in the next column. And then um, at the end, we'd have A1N. And uh, right here, we'd have A21. And all the way at the bottom, we'd have AN1, right? And then uh, here, we'd have um, A, uh, what would it be, N2, and then uh all the way here, we'd have A, N, N, and then uh, we don't really need these, but let's write, I suppose, A, 2, N here, and then dot, dot, dot. Okay, cool. Now, um, as I said, this definition is written um, in a way where we have to fix um, a row. So I'm going to fix the first row. So that is, I'm going to let, um, so fix, I'm going to let I equal 1. So we're going to fix the first row, but I, as I said, you can use this definition, this very definition, to uh, go along any row. So we could have let i equal like three or whatever, okay? But let's let i equal one and uh, we'll just make it easy for you to see. Now, sigma just means add. So from here on out, I'm not gonna write sigma, I'm just gonna keep in mind that it, it means add. And we're adding over j, right? We're adding over j. So we start with, um, the fact that determinant of A, according to this definition, would have us write negative 1. I fixed I to equal 1, so negative 1 to the uh, 1 plus, well, J starts with 1, so 1 plus 1, and then it's A, I, J, both I and J are 1 and 1 here, so A, 1, 1. So this is just the entry A, 1, 1. So whatever number A, 1, 1 is, that's what we multiply um, negative 1 to the second power with. Right, we have negative one to the second times um, whatever the entry a11 is, and then what? Times so we multiply both of these guys by the determinant of a11 bar. Now, since aij bar is generically defined here at the bottom, you could try to figure out what a11 bar means, but I'll elaborate in a second and show you what exactly it means. Right, uh, but again, as I said, sigma means add. And I'm done here, like interpreting all this. So uh, I use an interpretation of sigma, meaning add, and write plus, and I move on to the next term I have to add. And the next term I have to add would be negative one. Well, 
to the first power plus, right? Because we fixed i to be one, so i plus, and then, um, so i is one, one plus. So, uh, and then this time j is gonna move to two, so two, and then it's gonna be times a one, two, and then it's gonna be times dit, the determinant of a one, two bar. Okay, um, that was almost off the page. All right, sorry y'all. A12 bar, I had to squeeze it in. And then plus, um, you get it, you get it. And so the next is gonna be negative one to the um, one plus three, right? And then it's going to be times A13, and then times, it's gonna be determinant of A13 bar, right? And then plus, you get it, dot, dot, dot. And the very last guy is going to be negative one to the uh, one plus n power, a1n and then times uh, the determinant of um, a1n bar. Okay, and we'd be done. This would be the determinant. Like, so the determinant of a would be like the sum of everything I've written here. Um, it could be a hundred things if my matrix is a hundred by a hundred, but you know, you're, you wouldn't be done. You have a lot more determinants to calculate, like, because uh, each of these is the determinant itself, right? So, um, yeah. Um, now, um, let's, let's see what a one, one bar is, and then we'll talk about how you'd find its determinant. And, uh, if I show you what a one, one bar is, then you'd imagine what a one, two bar would have to be. It would work out the same way. And in fact, as I've already said, a I J bar is generically defined right here. Uh, but first let's talk about the matrix a, um, one, one bar. So a11 bar, first of all, is uh, an n minus one by n minus one matrix. So if this matrix is a 10 by 10, then uh, a11 bar is going to be a nine by nine matrix. And um, as it says in the definition, we would find this nine by nine matrix by uh, deleting the first row and the first column of um, the first row and the first column of the matrix. Um, a because it says to delete the ith row and uh, the jth column uh, when we're finding a i j bar, right? Okay, cool. So uh, here's what uh, the entries of a one one bar would have to look like, since according to this definition for a one one bar we'd have to delete the first row and the first column, um, then we would have to write. Uh, that our very starting entry is a22 and then uh, to its right will be uh, what will it be after a22 will be um, sorry uh, we're on a23 and then uh, it'll be a2n right and then uh, we'll be here it'll be a32 dot 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 a n2 and then dot 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 and then here clearly a n n. Okay, now this is just a one one bar. Uh, notice that what you've got right here is the determinant of a one one bar, meaning that you'd have to find the determinant of this matrix, um, you know, which has one less column and one uh, less row than uh, the matrix whose determinant you are trying to find, right? Okay, so in order to find the determinant of this n by n matrix, you have to find the determinant of this n minus one by n minus one matrix, the determinant of this n by n minus one by n minus one matrix, and so on. So when we're working on uh, the determinant of a three by three matrix, then we would have to in turn find um, the determinant of three two by two matrices. Um, yeah, so uh, when you're finding the determinant of an n by n matrix, you would have to find um, the determinant of n n minus one by n minus one matrices. And um, how do you do that? Like, how would you find the determinant of a one one bar through the same process? So this is kind of like uh, one of those Russian dolls, which is like you peel a layer and there's another layer inside it and so on. So like, that's a lot of like determinant calculation, which is why you don't want to do this by hand. And which is also why I'm not going to give you an example of anything more than a four by four determinant because it's just cumbersome. It's not hard. It's just a lot of computation. But yeah, um, I hope uh, this made sense of um, this definition. 
and uh, now you can use this definition to find the determinant of any n by n matrix you want, okay? All right, take care and keep watching.